Hey everybody, it's Karen Bryant from MMA Heat. I'm speaking with Zhen Hong, who is fighting He Zhan Wei at Rough 13, which is also known as Rough Fu. I want to say thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. I know it's right before weigh-ins. How are you feeling? Are you uh, are you all set? You're on weight? He's pretty ready, he's feeling good, uh, he didn't have any problems with cutting weight, so he's feeling good. Great. How do you feel about the matchup? Do you feel like you guys are uh, have the same skill set, or do you feel like there are certain things you're much better at, at than he is? He said, I think uh, he think his opponents got more power, like much stronger than him. But if we talk about experience and skills, uh, Chen Hong thinks like he had more, like more confidence in it. Mm -hmm. So if somebody had never seen you fight, how would you describe your fighting style? He said he this kind of fighter who can change the game plans right away in the cage. Uh, if it go, if it should take to the ground, he take it to the ground. If it should take standing, he can stay. Take it standing. He can change everything during the the fight. Mm -hmm. No, I know a lot of fighters have a sanda background. Here in America, a lot of people start with wrestling or jujitsu. What was the first discipline that you practiced? Yes. So he start from the Sanda and Wushu, from the Wushu and Sanda. And how does he feel that benefits him when he's fighting MMA? He say like uh, Sanda have a lot of benefits in striking as well as throws. Sanda have a fast throws on the ground that are a bit different than the wrestling and different than other wrestling uh, thing. Well, and certainly because uh, you know judo is obviously very effective for tosses as well. Yeah, but uh, Sanda have a bit unique style of the throws, a bit different than judo. So you at one point were on a five fight winning streak before the loss to Gajimov. Uh They say that you learn more from a loss than you do from a victory. Would you agree with that? 他说就是你一直打得很顺利的都没有败过然后就是上一次你输了然后他们有一种说法输的时候能学得更多的东西比你赢你有没有学到一些东西我学到了地面的防守好的东西我都学到了 Yeah, he said after this fight uh, he could see a lot of holes in his game which he should work on it and he found a way to keep it back and now he know his mistakes and he working on it. So what does he think was the biggest mistake then? Yes, so he lost on the takedown defense. He feel very comfortable on standing, also on the ground. So the main key was uh, takedown defense.
Nice. And what do you think of the new format that Ruff is using this time to find a champion? Yeah, he, he said uh, it should start anyway. They should know who is the real champ and who going to become a champ. So he waited for this time and he think he will show it. Nice. So last question, if you were to give a prediction how the fight will end, how, how will it end? He said he don't do any prediction. He will step inside the cage and show a good fight. All right. Well, that's great. That's all we can ask for, I suppose. Thanks for taking the time. Have a great fight. Best of luck to you. That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.